Uh, the chief and the secretary have given us the necessary resources to embed um, behavioral health all the way down to the unit level. And this is the first key. Um, first key in this is breaking the stigma. And I think we've done phenomenal work at that. As a matter of fact, the current soldier survey says that we're getting better at it every single day. Um, they see senior leaders going to seek help, and they see our, uh, their peer soldiers going to seek help. Um, but the key is, is that now we have gotten very good at this. Every single time we go to a major deployment or a field exercise or any time there's injury, there's an automatic uh, requirement for the soldier to seek behavioral health. It's part of our in-processing screening and it's part of our out-processing screening. And we just got to educate our young men and women. They need to ask for help when they need it. Probably the biggest point of intervention that we need to break the ice on with regards to suicide is peer intervention. Um, in many cases, when we have a suicide across the force, someone else saw the indications but failed to do something about it. And I'd ask, that's one of the things we have to work on as leaders across our Army, um, from our civilians to our soldiers to our family members. Is that peer intervention is the key.